Brian and Kenzie in the morning and Chicago's alternative all day. Q101. Brian and Kenzie on Q101. Remember, in about 10 minutes, get you on the phones for Bush tickets and $100 of Live Nation concert cash you can use for any Live Nation show. Really cool concert cash. Just, I love it. I love the sound of it. So that's coming up in Clash with Kenzie. If you beat Kenzie, we'll get you on the phones at 710. First, it is sports. Sponsored by the Marquee Network, Stream Cubs Baseball at WatchMarquee.com. The Q101 Morning Crew. Sports. Now you can stream Cubs Baseball tomorrow, but today is a historic day in Chicago for sports. And maybe you thought about it during that Lincoln Park song. Here's the history that's going on right now today. Today is the worst day of the year in sports because we're on the MLB All-Star break. So here's what you can't get today. No Major League Baseball, no NHL, no MLS even, no NFL, no NCAA sport of any kind is being played today. No tennis, no racing, no boxing, no Olympics. The only thing you get today, Kenzie. And that's sports. Because <laughs> really, what are we going to talk about? Have a good day. Yeah. You can watch some NBA Summer League basketball, Kenzie, today if you want. Really? Yeah, you want to do that? Um, you want to come over? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what Summer League is, Kenzie? Uh, children's? <laughs> That'd be hilarious. I, what? If, the, NBA, if the, the kids of the NBA players <laughs> played against each idea. other. What a, I'd watch that. That's a great idea. That's You're great. Welcome. Maybe Bronny can finally score some points. Oh. oh. There we go. Thank you. You can watch that or you can watch the Open, the golf tournament, the U.S. Open, they used to call it. So the Open, the first round starts today, which, you know, people, I, I used to turn that on now and then during the day when I'm home. That's the only sports available today. The worst day in sports of the year. It's going to get get better. Uh, Because tomorrow the Cubs host the team that made it to the World Series last year, the D-backs. Tomorrow at 120. Cubs start the second half at 47 and 51. The White Sox are going to the uh, the team that drafted the guy they should have drafted. Mm -hmm. The kid from Florida that has the most strikeouts in Florida history. No, home runs. Home runs. No, it was good. He did a good thing and the White Sox didn't take him. And the White Sox said, we don't need that. So the Royals took him. So the White Sox are playing the Royals tomorrow night. And they start off the second half with 27 wins. That's fun. <laughs> it's not, what? <laughs> Good for them. Yeah, that, that's a win's a win. So we'll get to some WNBA news. The Chicago Sky traded uh, Marina Mabry to the Connecticut Sun for, it's a rare midseason uh, trade like this uh, in the WNBA. And they got the first round pick next year in 2025. They had it this year, or they didn't have it this year, but they had uh, some first round picks high that got us Angel Reese. Um, so... A loaded draft, they're saying, next year for the WNBA. Same thing with the NBA. Yeah. So 2025 going to be good. Chicago Sky, get some players. Be nice. The Bulls could do something like that. Maybe be nice. We just got several texts about sports happening. Mm-hmm. Somebody said the oh, it's the first day of the Open, Open Championships Yeah, week. we said that. I yeah, said yeah, that yeah. one. That was the golf one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> got it, the golf one. All right. I'm sorry you're working your I, like, I like what's opening. <laughs> I'm sorry you were working on your nails during that, that no, conversation. But I, was, I, I, got, I thought it was something else. <laughs> I thought it was a different thing. The opening of a speedway. Oh. Some big gulps for like, sale. Something, something's opening. It's yeah. championship week. To be honest, it is confusing. I liked it when they called it the U.S. Open, and now yeah, they kind of call it. Yeah, whatever. I thought it was like, oh, something's opening. But did you know this? Now it's they call it. championship week for somebody. <laughs> now they call it the Open. Do you know why they did that? I don't. Does the PJ hate America? Probably. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to start spreading that rumor. Mm, mm-hmm. <laughs> also with the WNBA, how about this? Uh, Caitlin Clark, who we talked about a lot in the last year. I've watched her at Iowa and all the way through Indiana Fever. Set a WNBA record for assists, 19 in one game. So she's the girl that shoots all the three-pointers. People might think she's a ball hog. Well, she's not. She just throws out those assists. But she's also been left off the three-point contest for the WNBA All-Star Game. Now, I didn't think I'd get all riled up about a WNBA rant. I know. Look at you go. <laughs> but the, Your hair's on fire. <laughs> but the people that run the WNBA need to be held accountable. This, this is ridiculous. You, you're trying to fail when you have the gift horse. You have the girl that brought private jets for the first time for the players in the WNBA because she exists, because of her popularity. And let's not put her on the Olympic team because, oh, God, who wants to watch her in the Olympics? Me. Who wouldn't want to watch a girl that can shoot like Steph Curry from half court? She's the only girl that can do that. And they left her off that. Now they're leaving her off the three-point contest. So is, wait, how do people get how do people get like chosen for this? Yeah. They just have committees to pick. That, that's it. The people that run who's, it. Who's on it? I don't know. 
I wish I knew. I, I don't know who's on it. If I knew who was on the WNBA committee for the All-Star game. No, I meant who else is at the three-pointer? Oh, well, I don't know either. But she, That's the problem. <laughs> That's I right, because Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese are girl, the only people that are really well-known in WNBA. Is Angel Reese in it, you think? She's not, because she's not a shooter like that. She's, not a three, she's in the All-Star game, but she's not, in the, uh, she's not a three-point shooter. Caitlin Clark is. Now, you might think, well, she didn't hit enough this year. She's tied for the third most in the league right now, and they didn't put her in a three-point contest. That's weird. How dumb. That's weird. Do you not want to make money? Do you not want to make money? Do you not want people to watch? You're spitting in the face of money? (laughs) Getting really angry here. Um, Really angry. This is a real question. Yes. Because I have not seen a WNBA All-Star game. And do, do they have a dunk contest, too? Uh, they don't. Okay. Yeah. I know that, we, it's, but I'd be impressed. This is the, I'm asking. I'm there are sure. some that can dunk. Yeah, I'm uh, sure. They're very tall. But they're not doing the Jordan, like, rock the cradle, you know, yeah, cuff dunk. <laughs> That's not happening. So they, all, they have the three-pointer. Do they have anything else? They have, like, a layup contest or something? They do have skills. So, like, you dribble between cones and stuff like that. Oh. That was always my childhood dream was to be in the skills competition. Really? That's oh my hilarious. God, yes. No, I never wanted to be in the dunk contest. That never did anything for me. I just wanted to be in the skills contest where you pass the ball through the ring and then you do all the dribbling stuff. That's uh, To this day, that's all I want to be in is an NBA skills competition. Also, I just realized I made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> It's the British Open that starts so today. So I was right. It's something different. It's the Open. I was thinking the U.S. Open because it, the U.S. Open's the U.S. Open. The mm-hmm. British Open is just the Open. What opens in British? It's still Places. golf. It's still golf in British. Yeah. You're Thank welcome, you. though. I, I got was so, trying to point out something else. I know. I was getting so animated about the WNBA that I forgot it's the British Open, and that they stopped calling it that. Now it's the Open. So to Case's point, it's not that they hate America; they hate them. Uh, they hate the, uh, the English themselves. Oh, good. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> We well, you know we fought a war to get away from them. That's right. Back and yet in the we day. celebrate their monarch. That's right. Well, they're opening. <laughs> That's right. Everything's, right. everything's open. <laughs> the Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. Brian and Kenzie on Q101. Again, that's for my friend Jeffy in Chicago Heights. So um, before we get you on the phones for Clash with Kenzie, a uh, very interesting development here. Um, a guy, a Florida man, uh, was arrested after he locked himself in a Walgreens bathroom for five hours until they closed. And then he got out of the bathroom and then started eating everything in the candy aisle. <laughs> <laughs> It's like you and your Fandango pass. <laughs> yeah, so grocery shopping. Thousand Could you percent. Imagine just waiting out everything and your criminal activity to get arrested is so you could eat candy bars that cost 99 cents. He did also grab a pack of cigarettes. Oh. Here's the actual audio from the cop camera when they walked in. When the siren was going off, they actually got in and they confronted him. Here is that audio. What time is it? But he, he did just grab a pack of smokes. So. so right there? Yeah. Yeah. Is there anybody else in there? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't know. I came in to use the bathroom. <laughs> he lied and said he had just walked in to use the bathroom? Yeah, he, he, he was trying to play dumb like, I don't know what happened. I just came to use the bathroom and uh, I don't know what's going on with the alarm going off. He was in there for five hours. They turned him with the cameras that they have in there. And he then he ate all the stuff in the candy aisle. Well, also, like, if he was trying to get away with, like, I was just an innocent guy using the bathroom. Well, do you normally eat all of the candy before you check out? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good alibi. Yeah, he claims he went to just use the bathroom, was unaware what time it was. He was in there for five hours after they checked the camera. Oh, my God. Imagine sitting in the Walgreens bathroom for five hours. I can't go in for, like, five seconds. Yeah. I can't do it. I mean, and your reward is Twix, which are delicious, by the way. But that's it. That's it. Yeah, well, he's arrested, and uh, maybe a future... For candy bars? Maybe that a, sucks. Maybe a future Kenzie's crime as they go through him and see if he did something in Illinois, we'll have a story about him. Well, so, I'm just going to talk about the candy he stole. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, it's over. The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. You can't defeat her. She's too powerful. Clash with Kenzie. <laughs> Let the battle begin. Q101. Here we go. It is Class with Kenzie, sponsored by the Schaumburg Boomers. Boom, feel the boom. <laughs> For tickets, visit boomersbaseball.com. And Bush tickets on the line, plus $100 in Live Nation concert cash, which means you can use that money to buy uh, more Bush tickets or go to a Live Nation show the rest of the year. Plus, we'll have... 
and my Shyamalan trap movie passes for Love him. just for competing. And Josh checking in from Langton Heights. Ahoy, tell us something about yourself, Josh. Ahoy, uh, long time listener, been listening to Q101 for over 30 years. Uh, married two kids, um, one of them being a six month old and turning 40 in two months. Hell yes. Yeah, so it's a lot going on there. Yeah. That's like a dating profile. <laughs> <laughs> I, like. I could uh, use a break going uh, to a concert with mom, so that would be awesome. I so feel you. Can I come? <laughs> <laughs> and, of course. Thank you. Well, uh, now Kenzie's going to go over five. Okay. Still blow it. <laughs> Josh, if you win, you have to spend your Live Nation concert cash on tickets for Kenzie. Yes, we, can, we all need a break. <laughs> <laughs> we sure do. Mm, all right, first one to five wins. Listen carefully. If uh, Kenzie gets one wrong, you can steal a point. She can do the same to you. Call heads or tails. Josh needing a break. Tails. It is tails. You got a break already. <laughs> Woo! All right, all right, Josh. Here's question number one. Where does the sun set? In the west. It's funny how you have to think about that. Everybody does. It's a, it's a it stupid. It rises in the east and stupid, sets in the west. Yeah. I don't know what. Great prophet said that, but you know, well, right. just a scientist. Yeah, I know, but we I saw it a few times. <laughs> I figure like, does it every day. <laughs> Listen, being an astronomy person, I just figured Tom Skilling said it first. Maybe you know, yeah, he was like, the first one to say it. He was a smart guy. Mm -hmm. So I'm in the first season of The Bear, um, and I'm enjoying it. Don't spoil anything for me. They name dropped Tom Skilling in the first season. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, this is just the beginning. There's so many Chicago. Obviously, well, it's I on there. A lot of Chicago references, but I was like, ah. Where's the application for those name drops? That would have been fun. <laughs> but Brian can't from cute water in the kitchen. We need to get some hot dogs too. Fun fact, I know the guy whose girlfriend works on the bear, and all her job is, we talked about the emoji raider uh -huh. an hour ago job. All her job is is to tell them when they start doing a scene and a writing of it, they go, oh, oh, oh. that's not Chicago because she's from here. And so you like, know her, and you haven't gotten a single Kuna One or Brian Kenzie name drop? Not one? You know, it's funny, I didn't even think of that. <laughs> <laughs> we, know her like, we know her, like, really well, Like, too. really well. What are you doing? <laughs> huh. you I know don't what? know anybody on the show when I watched it and was like, oh, well, how can we figure this out? And you're like, well, I know her. <laughs> you know what I'm adding? You, you guys need that plug. Yeah. 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 You know what? I'm putting that on my list. Good Make Lord. sure <laughs> talk to her about getting Brian and Kenzie drop on the bear. Got yeah. it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Is it one to one? No, it's one to nothing. It's back to Kenzie. You haven't asked Kenzie a question God. yet. <laughs> All right, Kenzie. Uh, who wrote the play Hamlet? Um, and you mean Hamlet, not Hamilton, correct? Hamlet. Hamlet would yeah. be Shakespeare. Shakespeare did that. Uh, back to Josh. In 2022, what country overtook China to lead the world in population, Josh? India. India's right. Josh has two. Busy, yeah. busy place. Uh, Kenzie, what war began in 1914? What war? <laughs> I love it when so, you ask. I hate that you do this. How many wars are there? A, a ton. ton. Uh, sadly, a bunch. That's why they're getting rid of Is it one of ours? I, I can't answer follow-up questions. Okay. <laughs> um, is it one of ours? <laughs> <laughs> it's a great question. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say World War II. Mm. It's not World War II. Uh, Josh, do you know? World War One. One. A little earlier. Stupid. The prequel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like the Phantom Menace of World Wars. Yeah. You see, Star Wars started off with the fourth movie, uh -huh. and then they well, went I back knew and it made. wasn't the War of 1812. It yeah. wasn't. Yeah. No, good call on that. Ugh. Three to one, back to Josh. Uh, Josh, let's stay with some war stuff here. At the oh, what's not? At the <laughs> end of the Cold War, led the destruction of what infamous piece of architecture? So Can you repeat that one more time? So the end of the Cold War led to the destruction of what infamous piece of architecture? Three, two, one. A boom. Mm. Uh, Kenzie, skyscrapers. Skyscrapers. No, 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 no. no went down. Demi no. Lovato over here. Um, I'm gonna guess something, and it could be really embarrassing, but it's it's the first thing that came to my mind, so I'm gonna say it. Do it. Don't be mean about it. I want to hear this. Is it the Berlin Wall? Well, that's what it is. Really? Jeez. Okay. okay. All right. Just I was going to be like, that's the War of Berlin. You yeah. dumbass. I don't want to deal with it. Yeah. It's just what came to my head. God, I shouldn't have said that. I should have said, like, <laughs> like, come on, Kenzie, the Berlin Wall is still there. Coldplay <laughs> played on it. David Hasselhoff actually played at the Berlin Wall the night they took it down. He did. Yeah. They love him over there. They love him. David Hasselhoff, hero in Germany. Wow. Yep. 
hero in the SpongeBob movie, too. Three to two back to <laughs> Kenzie. Uh, Kenzie, um, what is the scientific discipline that studies stars, planets, and cosmic phenomenon of all kinds? What is astrology? that? Astrology? Not astrology. Josh? Astronomy. Astronomy. Oh. Astronomy. And Josh has four, and he can win with the next one? That's right. Oh, my goodness. Josh, here we go. How many miles are there in a full marathon? I need, a, I need an exact number. Three. Two. 26.2. Jo oh, my God. He got it right before the buzzer. Holy crap. Woo! Josh, you are going the bush, and he got $100 in... Live Nation concert cash to buy more tickets or use for your friends, go to other shows, or actually, you won, so you got to give it to Kenzie. I forgot. Yeah, thank you so much oh, for winning, no. Josh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Clash with Kenzie. The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101.